Team Deathmatch. Hey, what's up, you silly geese? My name is Frey, and here it comes a Black Ops 2 Nintendo Wii U Wii Remote gameplay. Now, this is actually my third gameplay on the Wii U. I actually want to post my first gameplay, which was on that big map with the with the big nuclear reactor looking thing. I, I forget its name. And I actually managed to go 19 and 2, which I thought was pretty good because I was setting up my sensitivity that game, and it was in fact my first game, so you know it was all really new to me. But unfortunately, theater mode decided not to record it for whatever reason. I mean, I didn't disconnect. I played the whole game just fine. I don't know. It didn't record it though. So here's my third gameplay. My second gameplay is actually a sniper gameplay, which will be uploaded to We Sniper Community, guys. If you want to check it out. Go check out We Sniper Community. Um, it's a it's a pretty decent sniper gameplay, by the way. And I talk more in depth about sniping and Black Ops 2 and my thoughts about it. Anyways, uh, as you can probably see right now, is that quick scoping is pretty more or less easy than normal. So that's something that's a godsend for those of us who like to snipe with a Wii Remote. Now, I actually am hoping to get my hands on the Pro Controller soon. Obviously, though, I, I prefer using motion control since it is a Wii, and, and just to be completely honest, I feel like this is a completely, totally different experience than any other Black Ops, any other way to play Black Ops 2. The motion controls just makes it this game feel so out of the ordinary. It just feels really unique. In its gameplay because of the motion controls on themselves. I mean, I'm already second prestige in Black Ops 2 for PS3, uh, and so I've, I've obviously played my share. And playing this on the Wii U just feels completely different. It feels like a completely new experience. It really feels really cool to, you know, having. It, it feels like like what what we should have always had on the Nintendo Wii. You know, good graphics. With motion controls, it feels really, really cool running around here with my motion controls, turning my Wii Remote around. And obviously, I haven't found the best settings yet. I, I don't, I doubt I'll ever find the best settings, but I haven't really configured them very much. So I can't exactly turn or aim very good until I do. And one thing that kind of bugs me about this game is the fact that there's no recoil or no vibration to show that there's recoil when you shoot your gun. It feels like you're not really shooting, in my opinion, and that kind of bugs me. I'm not sure if there's a, a way to enable the rumble feature when you're shooting, but it, it does kind of bug me. And personally, though, I really do like the game. It's really unique, and it has a definitely a lot less problems than PS3 because on PS3 I freeze almost constantly it's a real big problem over here though it everything runs really smooth the frames uh, the frames per second don't seem to drop at all uh, I don't seem to be lagging at all um, of, of course I've only played three games uh, but I didn't seem to lag very much at all or, or if anything at all like, uh, just really really smooth the game plays just so extremely well compared to uh, PS3 from personal experience. So I definitely do recommend it. It's definitely a unique experience. Fortunately, there's only about 300 people online right now. I can't assume how many people there is total who have this game for the Wii U. I mean, it just came out, so it's definitely going to grow. And But yeah, it's definitely a very unique and it's just way different from any way uh, to play this game. If you play it on Xbox or PS3 or PC, you're going to be blown away by how much different, how, how much more different the Wii U version is. It's so unique and it feels really, really cool to actually be running around with the motion controls and it's definitely a unique experience I hope everyone experiences because it's, it's really cool. So besides the, the game running really smoothly, the, I noticed a couple differences between the PS3 and the Wii U. One of them being uh, when actually creating your player card emblem. I was trying to create it exactly like I had my player card emblem on the PS3. But unfortunately I was getting uh, some mis mixed layer opacities 
for example, I was using uh, different opacities for my layers. So it would look like I have uh, more of a realistic, well not really realistic, but a better looking illustration. Having shading on the illustration. But unfortunately, I was having some issues with it on the Nintendo Wii U. It's definitely different from the PS3 version. And right here you probably noticed that the screen went uh, dim for a second there. It's because I actually had my Wii U gamepad sitting all the way in the corner. So uh, it blacked out. So I had to go and pick it up. And apparently it senses when I pick it up. Because it went away. So I am, I'm assuming now that if I want to record theater mode. I got to keep shaking my Wii U gamepad. So it knows that I'm there. And to not go dim. And I'm definitely not going to be using theater mode anymore. It's pretty unpredictable. I didn't expect it to not just randomly not record that game that finished well and had no problems so I'm definitely gonna start recording every game with my hop on without uh, relying on theater too much so yeah besides the little theater beef and the no recoil beef and uh, some weird little s different stuff here and there I really do like the Wii U version it's definitely a unique experience and I recommend it to anyone to at least even try it because it's, it's just if I played Black Ops 2 so much already, I almost got 19 hours on PS3, and it feels way different over on Wii U. I'm not sure if in the atmosphere too, you know, and just not just the motion controls, but I don't know, but something about the the game itself just looks and feels way different than the uh, PS3 version for me. It just feels old. I, I can't really put into words how I feel about it but it, it feels different that's all I can really simply say but anyways so this was a pretty quick gameplay I was playing with fate by the way and uh, unfortunately I think he was lagging out because I, I, I noticed at one point his connection was at about one bar so maybe he was facing some lag so I can't vouch for everyone uh, how well the servers are running but it's definitely pretty decent. Fortunately, I don't have Nuketown 2025. I don't really have any details on that. But, you know, if, if you guys have a Wii U, I recommend trying the motion controls. I, I tried playing on the gamepad. I could not... I could not use it for the life of me. I just couldn't at all. It was I, I just... The buttons were too awkward and the sensitivity was... I, 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 I couldn't... I, I just couldn't, so uh, I popped in my Wii U remote and I uh, went to town. Uh, but again, I do recommend using the Wii remote because <laughs> it does feel really, really cool to run around. You see, you see these differently textured, actually well textured, well re good resolution looking textures everywhere. You see these awesomely built maps the way they're supposed to look. And you have motion controls on top of it, so it just really, really feels unique, and it's definitely a pretty swell experience, if I do say so myself. And, you know, drop shotting is extremely easy with the nunchuck, because you can just drop C, and you got it on your other hand, it's right there, perfect, for your index finger. And, yeah, anyways, enough about my rambling, that's basically it, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm just gonna let this gameplay end for you guys.